Ted Politics, Real Tigger News. How y'all doing today? It's morning. It's beautiful. The air actually smells pretty fresh today. But let's get it. But before we get into it too deep, man, make sure you keep this in mind. I'm running for governor of South Carolina 2026. And my campaign is this. I want to eliminate state taxes by bringing more revenue to South Carolina. So, the campaign is, I'm coming up with a, an agreement for the whole state. The whole state, we need to agree on something. We need to agree on the fact that South Carolina needs more revenue, period, point blank. Like, nobody comes here for nothing. People come here to retire. They don't come here for nothing else. So, we need to change that. If we want to eliminate these state taxes and keep more money in our pockets, we're going to have to figure out a way to get people to come here. And I think we need to do that ASAP before other states like Georgia and North Carolina and Tennessee do other things to make more people come there than they already have. Because most of our population in South Carolina go into the three places that I just named. Some going further than that, but that's a good place to start. Georgia, North Carolina, and Tennessee. Now, if you want me to, if you want to hear detail about how I plan on doing that, that's going to be in another video at another time. I done spoke on it a few times. Just go look for it. But right now, let's get into it. So, they trying to say that Iman Shumpert cheated on Tiana Taylor. Let me just go ahead and clear it up because she cleared it up. She cleared it up by stating that there was no infidelity whatsoever. They just basically taking like a break, you know. Um, somebody told me that some people fall in love, then they fall out of love, or you know, they it just it, it just end up not being the same no more, or whatever, right? So before y'all think they getting divorced or think that they you know have been uh cheating on one another, things of that nature, no, <clears throat> they merely just separated. And that's what they call it in a divorce when they take a break. I mean, not a divorce, but in a marriage. Like, when you get married to somebody and y'all need a break, it's called a separation. So y'all just separate for a while. Still legally married, though. You know what I'm saying? But they are just separated. Now, what I've heard is in order for them to get a divorce, they have to be separated for at least a year before they can get a divorce. <clears throat> but... At the end of the day, being separated does not call for a divorce. None whatsoever. I can personally tell you that I know of a I know of a married couple that live just like that. They they are married. <laughs> they have two grown kids. So they kids grown grown. Like they have no reason to stay married. Like other than, you know, I guess they just want to stay married. But yeah, they have two grown kids, you know. Um, I personally know the woman in the relationship that in this marriage or whatever, but they married. He got his own thing going on. She got her own thing going on. They, I think they both actually seeing other people as well, but they still married, though. They just separated. <laughs> it might seem weird to some people, but I don't know. Y'all got to understand. Marriage in America is a business. That's all it is. That's all it is. So when you marry somebody in America, you basically saying that, look, I'm, I, hopefully we stay together forever. But if we don't, I'm, as, as far as the man goes, he's basically saying, I'm willing to give up half of what I, what I got. And the same thing for the woman, because if she got more in the relationship, she's basically saying that if we, you know what I'm saying, decide da 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 then you can get half. But if they get a prenup, then that's different. You know what I'm saying? Prenup is like, we get a divorce, we just go back our separate ways, which I advise most people to get a prenup. Because you just don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to trigger in a person's mind. So I say get a prenup, period. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I ain't saying it because I would be the one that'll do the, the breaking up. Because we, we getting married, bro. We staying married to death do us part, literally. Like, I'm not even finna play with that. You know what I'm saying? Like... I'm not finna play like that. I done read the Bible. I done learned certain stuff. I'm not. If we get married, we're getting married to stay married, period. And that's where separation comes in at because that allows you to do your own thing but stay married. So 
got to look at it. It's too much money got to get spent to get a divorce for one. Somebody finna lose either money or the child or both or something. It's, something, it's always losses getting took. And it's crazy because both sides go take some type of loss regardless of how you look at it. Whether it's your time or whether it's your money. It's better to get married, stay married. And if you have little issues or need a break or whatever, just separate for a while. And then, you know, start dating each other again. Get to know each other again. And then, boom, you ain't got to get remarried. You already married. You just replenish it. You know what I'm saying? Renew your vows or something. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man. <clears throat> Ain't no really no way to feel about this, but how do y'all feel about this? I mean, in my opinion, there's no way to feel about it. They separated. That's it. They still probably best friends. They probably talk on the phone every day. They probably still kick it every day. Like, you just don't know what they got going on. All I know is don't think that separated and divorced is the same thing. It's two different things. Ted politics, real to the news. And remember, I'm running for governor of South Carolina 2026. Make sure you keep that in mind. And then go over to bluecollarcash.com and get you some merch. We out.